Well, third graders and second graders, we're gonna work on some cityscapes or urban landscapes. Um, and I'm gonna draw out a picture of a city today, keeping in mind that it's gonna be best to start with the things that are at the bottom, which would be the foreground. So with that, I'm going to think about maybe any cars or vehicles, if you do a motorcycle. Um, I'm gonna start off here with a car and I'm gonna, since it's gonna be at the bottom, it's gonna be a little bit larger. I'll think about all the details I might see. Let's get maybe the roof of this car on here. It could be a truck, it could be a garbage truck, it could be a taxi, it could be really whatever you'd like it to be. Let's get some windows on here. Maybe some headlights, some door handles. So all of these extra details. Maybe some tail lights too. Details in the middle. Once you have something that's at the bottom, if I'm doing a road, um, I'm gonna probably get that in here. And instead of it just being one line, I am gonna make it two lines so I can have kind of a line for a curb. Maybe I'm gonna have like a drain or a vent in here in case it rains, the water can go down there. And also like a manhole cover. Good, so I'm getting the stuff that would be down at the bottom. Once I have that down, if I'm thinking about my city, often when I am walking, even like downtown Holland, I'm thinking about the buildings, often there are bushes or trees or flowers. So I'm gonna put a tree in here first, just to give this a little bit of detail so it's not just buildings, but I'm gonna get some bark on here. And we just did trees and stuff, so we got some good ideas there. I might do like just like a little space within the sidewalk where there might be like a opening in the sidewalk for trees and plants to grow. Then I'm gonna probably get the other side of my sidewalk on here. And once I have that done, then if I do some diagonal lines, that will help it look a little bit more real. Now that I have those on that sidewalk line, I'm gonna start putting my buildings. And anything that's in front is gonna be bigger. So I'm gonna get these ones to go like right behind this tree. And then I might add another building. Let's put one right here and they can be different shapes. I just have this one be more like a stair step building. And if I get a couple that are in front on my roof line, I'm gonna have more than one line. Um, Cause then it'll just give us some more detail. So here, if I've got two buildings in the front, then I am gonna think about putting buildings behind there. And this is where I'm gonna kind of stack them. So I might do a building that is, uh, maybe I'm gonna do like a curved top building and it's gonna, go right behind those. So that's why it went from this roof line over to that roof line. Or if I'm gonna do, um, let's do maybe this one is gonna be a new shape. So I'm gonna start on that roof line. I'm gonna bring that one over and off the edge of the paper. Once I have some buildings that are in front and some that are behind, I can even add more behind it. And these ones you can see are smaller. So I'm working from the bottom of my paper up to the top of my paper. Maybe I have like a bigger like skyscraper type building in the background. And maybe I'm gonna have another tower of some kind back here. So have some buildings that are in front, some that are behind that, and maybe even some behind that. Once you have your buildings on here, now it's time to put your details. So 
thinking about adding doors, um, adding in windows, and they could be rectangles, they could be triangles, they could be squares. This one, maybe I'm gonna do a curved door, but then I'm gonna do some circular windows that could be on here too. And then maybe some rectangular windows. So thinking about all these good details. Maybe even a rounded line up here. Once I'm done with that building, don't forget to add maybe door handles, windows on your doors. And in here, I could even take some of these and cross some of these lines if I want them to have extra detail or I'll put like door frames around them so they're not just one line, but they're gonna be two. So this is gonna have a ton of good details to it. When I'm done with these ones that are in the front, I'm gonna think about maybe adding some lines to these buildings too, and then within those, I didn't use many squares, so maybe I'm gonna do some square windows on this one, and do some rectangles, put some windows on that. If you want to do a large set of windows like this, and then have smaller ones inside that, I think that's a good detail. Sometimes when a building is really far away, you might not really even see the details that are on them. So with this, I might just have um, some line and they're like way smaller shapes. Or sometimes you might have something where they're gonna be just a like some sort of pattern or some sort of line, like I have maybe an X line shape on here. So this one still needs details. If you get this all done and you have all the details on your buildings, if you wanted to do like a stop sign or if you wanted to do um, like a fire hydrant or something in here to get a little bit more detail, those are the things that are gonna help make it look really cool. Um, you can also add a little bit of sky. This one's gonna be daytime because we're also gonna do a nighttime one. Um, so think about adding um, any clouds in here, a sun if you would like. Often cities are very windy, so you might have a little bit of wind in here too and tuck your clouds in and stuff. So let's have fun using some skills of observation, putting some good details in. If you get this all done, then you can raise your hand and I will give you a marker to outline it, but we will work more on it next week. So. Let's have fun. <laughs>